Hey guys, welcome back. We are working in the Canvas Journal for a short brief time today. I found some of the papers that I wanted. Some of these come from Tukey Designs. And for that, you may hop over to um, Michelle's channel at the Hobby Hobbit and she can give you a discount on a discount code for those and then the other one I'm using is the old Victorian tags I'm not sure who these belong to I'm not sure who the old Victorian tags belong to I'd have to go all the way back and check those out and then I'm using 50 no that's not right I'm using also if I can find them these are from da 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 nope trying to find them guys anyhow there's several that I'm using I think these were on page five. No, it's not that I don't have. I imagine page five. I think that's where I found them. Let's go back and look. Vintage. Here we go. Blank lined vintage junk journal pages, and these are coming from. Where are these coming from? Bontic vintage designs. Okay, and then. That's what I know. That's what I can tell you. So I am at the moment, like I said, fighting with my printer. So that's where all the papers are coming from. And then I had told you guys about the parchment paper that I found at a thrift store. So I'm going to be using this as well. And this I'm going to cut to 8.5 by 11. I'm not going to throw this page away because we can use that back side. So I'm going to neatly fold this and hang on to that. But I'm going to cut several sheets to 8.5 by 11. And then I'm going to print lined paper on the back sides of these once they are all out of the machine. And it's just going to be random um, because I'm not base. Although if I printed lined paper on the back, I wouldn't have to cover them if I didn't want to. But I want to cover it. I really think I'm going to cover these with piano papers. Okay, so we'll put that aside. And then if you were watching my Bible study journal, you'll know that I accidentally put a steampunk pocket. I'm glad it matched up. Let's see, I have all of these tags from Bontic, I believe I said. So all of this, which will go into the, and this is actually a travel kit pockets, but weirdly enough, they match with what we're doing, but I'm not going to use them. Not for this kit. Okay, so this one back. And then, like I said, I'm going to cut this paper down to 8.5 by 11. Turn these around the right way. I guess those don't matter. Those don't matter. Yeah, I think I'll put the lined paper on the back of... No, I want them to be thick enough to write on. So we're not going to do that. So there's all my tags. And right now, I'm waiting on my printer it's being stupid like a whole stack of papers went through now I don't know how many of these I, I need I'm gonna do several signatures so if I do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten if I do three signatures eleven twelve that'll give me a good multiple of three and I think that's probably what I'll do is do three signatures I feel like I can comfortably get three signatures in there 
Okay, that's what we're planning for, is three signatures. And then we'll still work on the cover. All right. Like Hollywood magic. Whoops. Jeez, guys, I'm sorry. I totally messed that up, didn't I? Okay, like Hollywood magic. When we come back, I'll have these cut. Hopefully have these printed. And we'll be working more on that topper that we put in there. So see all my stuff went. In the words of my dear old mother, Kaji Wald. I do not know what that means. It kind of means messed up, I think. All right, let's try this again. So anyhow, yeah. Hopefully this will all get done. And I'll see you in the next video where we do 8.5 by 11 on these. And I think I'm just going to do... Yeah, we'll figure it out. But that's where we're at, and I will see you in the next segment. Okay, guys, here we are. Now, I'm still printing, but I thought since I already had the tags done, and I already cut the um, parchment paper to 11 and a half by 5 inches. Yeah, 11 and a half by 5. 11 and a half by 8 inches. We could just start gluing down these tags, and I, they're not going to be super heavy duty, but they won't be bad. Let's just try one and see. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the old glue stick, wet glue trick. And that way we get everything covered. And I think, you know what I'm going to do, guys, with my laminator? I think I'm going to make a glue board with my... Um, Junk Journal Diva emblem on it. Why not, right? Okay, so here we go. Then we'll just smooth this all out, and then this way I know our glue is good and covered. And then we'll just kind of pull that tight and get my my squishy tool here. My squishy tool, run them up. All right, and we just pick it up and squish that side down. So then we just let that dry, and then I'll cut the whole thing out. And we'll save this piece for some other piece of ephemera. So there's one. Here goes number two, and you can hear my printer hard working in the back. I was trying to get the signatures all done, and I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit on the signatures for a while, guys. Like I'm I mean I'm not gonna to do anything with them right away until I feel comfortable about what order to put them in and how many tip outs or flip downs or pockets that I'm gonna have that sort of thing. Because at the moment. I'm just not sure. I just don't know. This side, oops, that side didn't get glued at all. You know, a little more glue down here, don't we? Yeah, I'm just not sure. And then this isn't a journal that I want to finish overnight. This is uh, a for fun, for me journal. Let's see, did I get that all glued down? Yeah, there's number two. And if this isn't thick enough, I can put more of something on it later. Okay, let's get get some glue down here. Do do do. I feel like there's news I should be telling you, but by the time you see this video, hopefully my sewing machine will be in my loving arms. Okay, there we go. Let's get this glue off of there. I don't care if that piece sticks. I just want it to stick down to right there. Because 
that's where the tag starts and stops. Okay, there's that one. Ooh, only got one more to go. This one going to be big enough? Yep, it is. So that was a good way to use up some of that left over. Then of course we'll make some little notepads and um, I don't know some other sort of ephemera. I know that in the bag in the kit, I mean there are um, round tags that I may decide to use this on. Uh oh, I don't think that's going to work. I need more glue down here. A little bit more down there. All right, there we go. Well, that's the plan. All right, so I will come up when these dry really good. I'll come back and cut them out. So there we got six. Eight tickets done pretty quick, and then we'll put some real cool eyelash um, trim or something in the tops. I do have some gold satin. I have all kinds of stuff we can put in the, the hole right there, but for now this is done. So we're going to call it quits here, and then hopefully in the next video that when we meet again we'll have the signatures at least printed and folded and ready to put together guys right thank you I appreciate all of you hopefully you'll stay with me through the next few whatever's journals um, don't forget when I get to 30 likes over on the giveaway details video we'll have a giveaway so until then I'll be cutting out ephemera and I do want to do the, the file folder thing on the inside of this but I think what I want to do I don't even see it now yeah it attaches to this but that's all right I mean it's here it is we were going to do the the oh my goodness guys I must be tired the closure through the this part through here through here but then I realized that's not gonna work out too good we're gonna have to put it behind because I want this to open but not not come off of the journal cover so this will be like so And then this will get attached to the cover. And I think what we talked about is if I can get my big bite through the inside here, I want to put four grommets and connect them that way. Or four paper brads. Yeah, probably four paper brads. And then this will stay attached to the journal. And before it gets completely scratched up, I need to take my um, Mud Podge or Matte Medium over it because see there's already a gouge. I need to fix that and get it covered so it's protected from gouges and whatnot. Alright, appreciate you guys and I will see you in the next uh, video.